Prosperity is a herbal remedy that has been naturally designed to nourish the prostate gland. Prosperity uses a combination of leaves, roots, and barks to create a tincture designed to nourish your prostate gland. It also will assist in prostate-related issues such as erectile dysfunction, swollen prostates, and problems related to the passage of urine. Call or WhatsApp 728-8289, 728-8289, and get your back. Sunday the 17th of September, 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us on Zoom and on YouTube for the official relaunch of the Priest Isaacs Institute of Holistic Knowledge website, priestisaacinstitute.com. Our website has been upgraded and has been made more easily accessible to you. On priestisaacinstitute.com, you will find all that you need for your holistic growth. We offer certified courses in ancient astronomy and ancient archaeoastronomy, as well as our international homeschool program for children of all ages. At PriestIsaacInstitute.com, we not only offer our books, video documentaries, and webinars, we also have available food preparation courses and cooking classes. In the field of raw foods as well as idle plant-based diseases. Do you shop online for your nuts, grains, etc.? We have that too. Get all your necessities from your agave, honey, spices, all your nuts and so on. Now don't forget our online clothing labeled with our icons. You can get your sweaters, t-shirts, even hoodies. The Tiger's Nest. And speaking of the Tiger's Nest, Radio Anu International, 24-hour internet radio, giving you positive, conscious information and inspiration throughout the day. Again, on the 17th of September, 2023, mark the date from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us on Zoom or on the Priest Isaac's YouTube channel for the official relaunch of PriestIsaacInstitute.com. Zoom VIPs will receive a special gift. To get your Zoom link, go to the website PriestIsaacInstitute.com or email us at PriestIsaacInstitute at gmail.com. 17th of September. Be there. With your congregation or what have you. But when you have a specific relationship with the spirit of a food, now I would believe all food has a spirit. Now, maybe we have to define food here because junk food doesn't really register as food. You know? So junk food is like an anti-prophet. You know, the antichrist is not Christ. You know? Not because the antichrist have Christ in his name, mean he's Christ. He's not this type of Christ. And the anti-prophet or false prophet is this kind of prophet. They're not prophets. So to say they're false prophets and false gods and all of that, sometimes the language, you see, this is what English does. You know, so, so, so in reality, as I said, we are dealing with the spirit of food. So junk food is not really food because food cannot be junk. <clears throat> Food cannot be rubbish because food is supposed to give to the, the eater nutrients to assist in the sustenance of life and longevity. That's food, you know. Food is supposed to give you nutrients and, and heal you and, and make you well and give you energy. All of that is food. Real energy too food. 
So junk chicken and chips somehow doesn't really register as food. So the coconut now has its own spirit. Cayenne pepper has its spirit. Turmeric has its spirit. Do you know that? Yeah, man. Everything, these herbs that we utilize from the moringa and the, the guinea hen weed, which is the kojo, the same gully root, every, oh, that definitely has its spirit. Cannabis sativa has its spirit. All of these plants and foods, the papaya has its spirit. Yeah. The guinip or kinip, you know what that is? It has its spirit. In St. Lucia, they call it aki, not the Jamaican aki now. In St. Lucia, they call the Jamaican aki, Jamaican aki. But they have a fruit that, that we refer to as guinip or kinip. In certain places, it's called shinet. That has its own spirit. What, what, what else? Whatever it is, lettuce, cabbage, spirit. The coconut, as you could see, is a plant somewhat like the cannabis sativa, the marijuana, that is highly connected to Rastafari. Just like the cannabis sativa, just like the marijuana, the coconut was once outlawed, you know, Yes, it may not have been illegal <laughs> to have a coconut in your pocket, but it was ostracized by the world of so-called health. And what that did, it murdered a thriving industry here in the Caribbean. Remember when Morris, the bishop, took over Grenada, you have to keep in mind, Grenada supplied one third of the world's supply of nutmeg. A little Caribbean island that you would overlook on a map was given the whole world. Almost half of the nutmeg that it needs. So obviously Grenada could be wealthy several times over just on half of its nutmeg revenue alone. Does nutmeg. So when people like Ronald, uh, Ronald Reagan, the president of the United States at the time, would have invaded Grenada to kill the progress of Morris Bishop is because they understood and still understand that the real freedom is economical freedom, of course, coupled with moral understandings and a good philosophy of, of life and the universe. Oh, you have all of that well put together, knowledge of self and who you are and, and connecting with your ancestors, plus you're rich. Now we got to kill these Negroes here. In that same way, St. Lucia, Dominica, the same Grenada, they also had a, a, a strong and, and thriving, or at least getting their coconut oil industry. This is why the coconut oil from the Caribbean is the best. In fact, if you wanted coconut oil once upon a time, you had to get it from around here. We used to use the coconut oil and they even fool our old people off. Have them using something they call lard. Lard, that's like the fat from some animal. I think it's the swine or some um, heifer or something. And they just put that in the frying pan and it turns to oil. Nastiness. <clears throat> Ugh. 
when we could uh when we could um use the natural coconut oil and create or the natural coconuts pardon me and create the coconut oil but yet still don't get me wrong although they were using a lot of so-called sweet oil that was this other nasty set of oil that they would um, um, sell in the liter bottles this is when i was very young eh? of course things have changed you have all the brands of oils on the shelf now oh yeah man from the granola to this other fella and this other fella here soy oil so-called vegetable oil which is really soy oil there's no vegetable oil which vegetable do you get oil from i'm just asking you i'm not saying that you can get i mean avocado has oil if you if you want to label it a vegetable but usually it's not labeled a vegetable avocado 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 oil is beautiful the nuts the almond oil the cashew oil yeah but you ain't getting no lettuce oil lettuce is a vegetable you have carrot oil not essential oil in oil that you use to to the point i'm making let me not go too far the point i'm making what you have as vegetable oil <laughs> on the super makeup shelf is not no vegetable oil read the ingredients and tell me which vegetable has oil in there cucumber oil no it's soy oil granola oil oh my well that's a story all by itself if we're going to get into gmo so now you can go in the supermarket and you can you have a variety of coconut oil refined virgin and all sorts of stuff to choose from it's usually quite expensive too definitely would cost more than the other stuff on the shelf you have your olive oil you have your grapeseed oil walnut oil almond oil or hazelnut oil, all sorts of oils to choose from. And you'd be surprised that all the magnificent oils that are now around us, it is the coconut oil that is the better of them all, as it has what is considered the fatty, the fatty acids, pardon me, are medium in size, in size, pardon me, the, the, the chain of fatty acids. So you'd refer to them as medium chain fatty acids. That's what the coconut carries, unlike any other oil. So that is why you can heat it and it doesn't change the molecular structure to the point that it will damage you. Do you know you're not supposed to heat up oil? Olive, even olive oil and all the other oil. And then you have palm oil too. Palm oil is rich in vitamin E, good for your eyes. And these oils are different type of oils. Yes, you can utilize the palm oil. You know, the Africans, the, the Ghanaians, the Akan people utilize the palm oil and the palm oil stew and palm oil soup and, and all of that good stuff. Yes, but I'm just showing you by right. Oil is not something you're supposed to heat up, especially if you're going to be boiling the oil. You boil the oil to fry something in the oil, but it's boil, you boil it, oil it. Right. Now, coconut oil, that which is not the virgin coconut oil. Let's, I wouldn't call it refined. The oil that we make in the Jabba pot, you want to call it refined? I more prefer to say the one that they make in the factory is refined good and it's never as good as the one that's made in the yaba pot the clay pot very good it dance to the man priest germain now now the oil the coconut oil you get your bag of coconuts and you you grate that and you you know how to make the oil don't you yes you grate that down you can get a nice grater where you bust the coconut in half and you just spin that around and you you get the coconut shaving piled high and then you you squeeze the the juice out of that and and you may put a bit of water to assist it and then you 
put that to boil and that comes down and comes down and comes down and boil out and boil out till it creates that sweet smelling coconut oil that's healthy for your skin and your hair. Yeah, just check it out. A lot of the oil people fry their food in. You'd never put that in your hair. No, man. You'd never wipe that on your skin. Impossible. But the coconut oil, we use it and and, and, and rub down our whole skin for massage therapy and oil our hair. We all do it. Don't you do it? I'm sure you do. Coconut oil. You take a teaspoon of coconut oil. Nobody taking no teaspoon of uh, uh, soy oil and them kind of oil, you know. So yes, there has been a serious conspiracy on the coconut oil industry, which obviously mean on the coconut itself in the Caribbean to keep them poor. These people lied to the world and said that coconut oil would spike up your cholesterol levels. What a lie. I mean, I grew up hearing that. I grew up hearing that, that coconut oil would raise your cholesterol. And lime would cut your nature, all kind of make-believe things. They, you must be saying, lime would do what? <laughs> You're a subscriber, listen, re rewind it and listen to it again and try to figure out what I'm talking about. We, let's move on. Not only doesn't coconut oil ri rise, not body cholesterol, just because of its makeup again, and uh, it stands as, 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 as a as medium chain fatty acids that alone shows you that it literally takes care of the the uh cholesterol as such meaning that it would regulate your your cholesterol and make sure that you are in good standings so again that war was against the coconut just like the war was against the ganja and interestingly, all of that is the war against Rastafari. Now, again, you know, no one was really being arrested for having uh, coconut. But the coconut now really became, at least in the Caribbean, directly related to the same Rastafari. That is why I said earlier, there's a spirit that food carries. And when it, when it, when it comes to a food that you know, you have to ostracize the food and all of this kind of stuff. You can see something about the food is special. Yes. So this is why, you know, uh, okay, for example, there is the noni plant. Everyone speaks of the noni. You know the noni, right? Okay. Around here, we used to refer to the noni plant as jumbi sawasa. Jumbi sawasa. Now imagine that. Oh, we don't eat that. We don't eat that. But now it's one of the most beneficial plants that they advertise today. That's the Jumbi Sawasa, the Noni. So that is to show you how we would have been easily fooled to scorn. And, you know, we used to say the Noni smell funny. And we used to believe that to it. Me, little old me, I never smell no noni. I just hear people say, yeah, one thing, boy, it smell, it smell bad. So when you put it in the jar, put it here, put it there. Yeah, because this was when noni was really becoming fashionable. So, so yeah, put it here. This is about 25 years or so ago. Eh? Yes, the noni this and the noni that and the noni that. And if your mind was not, well, you know, straight in its thinking you would think that noni actually smell bad the thing smell good but because it's jumbi sawasa you have to create some level of phobia to it 
to the point that it's even smell bad. What a beautiful smell bad. Then, then now you have this other crew talking about, don't mind how it tastes bad. It's good for you. What tastes bad? Now, so Noni is a jumbi. Noni smell bad. And Noni tastes bad. But you have to understand, you know, we are people that spray chemicals on us. Chemicals that have some real artificial, uh, non-authentic smell. And we call that smell good. So if that's the way we can deal with that, well, then that which really smells good will smell bad. Most people that say no, and you smell bad, you light up your little spliff you if you're around them. Ooh, what's, ooh, what's that smell? <laughs> uh, let me just read this here quickly for you. Coconut contains a high amount of saturated fats. Do you want an accurate natal chart reading to know the true position of the sun, the moon, and each planet at the moment? that you were being born? We at the Priest Isaac's Institute of Holistic Knowledge will create a precise natal chart for you and your loved ones, coupled with snapshot pictures of each planet, the sun, the moon, plus the constellations related to them. In addition to this, we will be giving you a detailed report of the alignment of planets to the constellations and its full meaning not from an astrological perspective but from an ancient astronomical perspective. You will have this report for the rest of your life and can share it with your friends and your family. To order your accurate natal chart today, visit our website priestisaacinstitute.com or email us priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com. Bless it. Uh, let me just read this here quickly for you. Coconut contains a high amount of saturated fats, but these are harmless. They contain medium chain triglycerides, which are fatty acids of medium length. These fatty acids are absorbed differently by the body. They go straight to the liver from the digestive tract and are further turned into ketone bodies. This can have therapeutic effects on brain disorders like epilepsy and Alzheimer's. This is very serious. So as I was saying earlier, as it relates to the coconut and uh, uh, the, the way that it is made up, the medium chain fatty acids, now you can see for yourself the benefits that that alone will cause, even as it relates to your mental health. Coconut is high in dietary fiber and provides a whopping 61% of fiber. Coconut fiber slows down the release of glucose and transports it to the cells where it is converted into energy. It assists in relieving stress on the pancreas and enzyme systems which reduce the risk of developing diabetes. This is the same coconut that they were literally banning from the shelf, you know, we don't want no, no coconut oil around here. Coconut improves the insulin secretion and utilization of blood glucose. Um, um, we read it from stylecraze.com, by the way. It controls diabetes by positively affecting the hormones for blood sugar control. This slows down the rise in blood sugar level and helps to reduce uh, uh, glycemic craving. Coconut benefits quick digestion. You hear that? So obviously if your food is cooked with coconut, it benefits quick digestion. 
and other symptoms associated with digestive and bowel disorder. Obviously, Rastafari cook with coconut, you know, Rasta. Man, they have some elders, if no, no coconut in the food, they're not into that, eh? That's why when you dub with the coconut, dub means cook, by the way. And dub means other things too, but cook. But when you dub, when you sail a yacht, same thing, cook apart. When you sail a yacht with two and three dreadnoughts, dreadnoughts is coconut. It's like a dictionary, you know. <laughs> when you sail a yacht with several nuts, this is why you don't have to put no salt in any yabat pot food. In fact, do you know it's a sin to put salt in the in the, the Rastaman Jabba pot food? You're not supposed to put like iron spoon and so in the yabba pot, you know. Certain things do not cook in the yabba pot. Although ones would cook yeah, uh, what do you call that stuff? Rice and 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 but by right, pasta and so don't cook that in yabba pot. By right. I mean people do all these things, you know, but even rasses, but that's foundation I'm telling you about. I'm telling you what I came and met. All right. And then the yabba pot is so seasoned. That's why you don't cook with the next man pot. Because the pot is well seasoned. Then you're going to put something in the pot that he don't deal with. The pot is well seasoned. Any well you have a pot that is, no matter how you wash it. When you sail the next yacht, the seasoning will remain deep, eh? Yeah. And then the coconut, the coconut, the oil that the coconut creates in the Rastaman sauce. It's a different flavor all by itself. So, so coconut has been a, 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 a integral part of the Rastafari liberty for an extremely long time. The coconut is what we use to create the chalwa, the chalice. The said coconut specifically, yeah, the chalice where, where the water goes in, that's a coconut. You can use the calabash as well and... Uh, yeah, that's basically it, maybe one or two other things, but the coconut is the, the main thing that is used for the spiritual uh, uh, portable altar known as the chalwa, the chalice. And if you observe the coconut now too, you know, there's a whole spirit about it. To get the coconut, unless you're going to wait until it drops in its dry form, you got to climb that tree for that, eh? And it's way up, and you can obviously see that the coconut tree looks like a Rasta man. Who's going to deny that? Let me see your hands. Anybody denying this? The coconut tree looks like the Rasta man. And the coconut itself is very symbolic of the brain. Eh? It's like the brain has, okay, it's mystic. It's, it's mystic. It's somewhat inverted, but still the brain. Okay, first of all, you can see the coconut has the, the three eyes, almost like two eyes and a mouth but the, the 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 shell of the coconut the coconut shell is extremely hard like the cranium now the coconut shell itself has a lot of fuel in it the coconut shell we burn the shell you can cook a next pot with coconut shell you can take at least 10 coconuts and pile up the shell and cook a whole pot with those shell alone by lighting the shell and letting the shell catch the shell and catch the shell. That's why when you burn coconut shell, you see it let off this almost like a burner because the coconut shell has a lot of fuel inside of it. It is not something to waste. We waste a lot of things. Eh? The coconut itself, the meat, when it gets dry and oily, you could light it like a candle. If you if you take the coconut meat hmm, from a dry coconut and, and dice it up into cubes, not too small now, maybe, you know, um, size of a fingernail or something like that. And you put it aside in a cube form, by the way, and you put them to dry. You could do it inside or you could do it outside. Uh, they dry coconut outside on the roof in different Caribbean countries. The same countries I mentioned earlier, St. Vincent, Dominica, St. Lucia, that they're well known for that, drying the coconut to make the oil. But you see that same coconut, when it gets real oily, that you can put your hand and rub it, and then the oil already comes on your hand. If you light that, even if it's with a match, 
and, and place it on, you know, somewhere that it wouldn't burn anything. That would light, that would stay lit. Hmm. Maybe for half an hour or more. That little, that little cube of coconut is filled with so much oil that it can keep a fire burning for at least half an hour or more. A little cube and then you take a next cube and just put it next to it and light it and it'll continue. <clears throat> I myself, Rastafari, would have kept my little hut a lick for the whole night using that technique. That's, let's say, decades ago. Eh? So I know, I know what works. That's a serious thing. That's to show you how much oil is in a coconut, the shell and the meat. We're not even talking about the water. I think we know the benefits of the water. That's why in Jamaica, they say that, that coconut water uh, wash off your heart, clean your heart. So the brain now, see the brain, the coconuts way up there in the top of the tree, right under the locks, the brain. That's why the coconut is like the skull. And inside your brain, you have gray matter and white matter. And remember, the brain is inside of water. Now, as I say, it's a bit inverted because the water is, you know, inside a kind of how the white matter. But you still can get the point how the coconut is very symbolic to the heavens. And this is why you could see clearly saying here that the coconut assists even when it comes to, um, you know, the mind, the brain, and helping ones that have epilepsy and Alzheimer's. Imagine if you eat coconut every day, which we do and drink coconut water every day, natural thing, that will definitely assist you in your move um, forward. Speaks also of the anti-aging properties that coconut have, the boosting of the immune system. Coconut is well known for doing that and, 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 and treating ab, abnormal, ab, abnormal, pardon me, uh, uh, behaviors in individuals as well. Imagine, well, that really returns back to the brain and of course boosting your energy and overall over or over all health so that is really the the whole aspect of coconut helps to prevent skin cancer uh you know helps to prevent dry skin and dry hands uh, so to speak it keeps the skin youthful uh, coconut uh, promotes blood circulation. This is serious. And coconut also can help to treat oily skin and these different things. So even the what is known as the hushi, if I want to understand the coconut itself, when you rip the, the fiber away from the fiber away from the actual uh, uh, shell, the fiber, you know the fiber, of course, I believe, you know, especially if you're around coconuts. That fiber itself is also very, very valuable. That is used in many places when it comes to the whole aspect of filtering water. That is very, very interesting. Filtering water. That fiber literally can do that and does that. And then the coal now, the coal that the coconut creates. I'm sure many ones would use what they call um, activated charcoal. Okay, now you see the acacia, the acacia tree. That is what we use here in the Caribbean to make charcoal. So we have a, a specific technique where we put the fire in the earth and put the wood in the earth with the fire and just you know, make it bake. And then after a time, we take it out and you have charcoal made from acacia wood because we have a lot of that around here. And you can use other woods as well, logwood, etc. Now, the coconut shell, when you burn it, it creates a coal all by itself. Maybe not to burn again, but if you, if you grind that into, 
into dust, you would have created your own activated, seriously activated charcoal there. Obviously, remember we're talking about uh, something that fights bacteria, good for oral hygiene. The coconut, you use that same charcoal and you brush your teeth. Extremely beneficial during um, pregnancy, helps to control acidity and heartburn. Uh, as I said earlier, improves blood cholesterol and prevents urinary tract infection. So, so the same reason why an individual would use a regular activated charcoal is the same reasons why you would use that of that of the coconut and this is something you can do for yourself you know you can create this for yourself you can get the coconut shell and and burn it and let it burn away and just eat the charcoal if you're a person that use your steam chalice or your chalice chalice and you use the coconut shell regularly and you have children around you you don't even have to tell them anything they would pick up that and just start to eat that I know that for a fact. They will just pick it up and start to eat it as if it's instinctive, in, in, instinctively inside of them to eat coconut shell when it's burnt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, that's agency there. And of course, that will help to kill bacteria and clean out the stomach and all these beautiful, beautiful things. So again, you know, this is why, as, as I said, the Rastaman have a special connection with the coconut. You know, the Rastaman have a oneness with the coconut. You don't know the coconut water is so powerful that it, it can replace the, the blood in cases of emergency or be infused into the blood, something of the sort. I'm not no, no medical MD, but I know what I would have read in their journals. So that alone is showing you that the coconut and the coconut water and the coconut everything and the coconut everything is so powerful a, a serious superfood people talking about superfood is the coconut energizing as i said we would have talked about the oil then of course we kind of run through the water and the shell and the meat in different forms, depending, and, and of course, the, 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 the young meat. And then the young water is that which cleans the bladder. I'm sure many ones know of this. And then again, the coconut in its fullness, the tree represents Rastafari, represents the Rastaman. So we give thanks for another mighty plant that would have been with Rastafari throughout its ages and throughout its tribulations and throughout its triumphs, we speak of the, the coconut, you know? And of course, you know, it's a very powerful plant and really also a plant of meditation. So, you know, we're very thankful for even that. So yes, family, give thanks. Are you searching for unique, handmade, black cultural crafts, t-shirts, and accessories? Look no further. Introducing your ultimate destination for the vibrant and captivating creations that celebrate Rastafari and African culture. At Black Dominion, we bring you a curated collection of exquisitely designed, crafted products honoring the rich heritage of Rastafari, Ethiopia, and the Black Diaspora. With our user-friendly website, Shopping is a Breeze, we ship worldwide, bringing black culture to every corner of the globe. Visit www.blackdominion.shop today and start exploring the incredible range of handmade Rastafari and black culture. Find your inspiration, embrace your roots, and stand out from the crowd. Prosperity.
is a herbal remedy that has been naturally designed to nourish the prostate gland. Prosperity uses a combination of leaves, roots and barks to create a tincture designed to nourish your prostate gland. It also will assist in prostate related issues such as erectile dysfunction, swollen prostates and problems related to the passage of urine. Call or WhatsApp 728-8289, 728-8289 and get your bottle today. Prosperity.